Hello and welcome to the channel. In tonight's episode, I'm going to give you guys my pros and cons of this 6x8 Harbor Freight Greenhouse. If you'd like to know what my pros and cons are of this 6x8 Harbor Freight Greenhouse, stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm going to jump right into it. Gina versus Gina asked me to give you guys my thoughts on this Harbor Freight 6x8 greenhouse. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you guys a quick peek of what it looks like. Several months, I don't even know when I put it up. I'll link that video. It's a three-part video of when my mom and I built, well, assembled this and put this up. It might be more than three parts because I took some time to paint it first, but I'm gonna show you, just pan around, show you what it looks like. I just opened up the door. So it is as it is, I did not, change anything didn't try to straighten anything up this is what it looks like today so it's saturday so let me show you this is the entryway i put a shade cloth on it and i left it on there because i realized that the shade cloth was doing more than just keeping it um keeping the sun off this is the inside of the greenhouse i think you all probably know I put down just a piece of wood I got from my movers and on both sides, left and right. It's nothing more than open um, ground with wood chip. Let me see if it's I can just show you. It's open that. ground with wood chip. So I hope now, you can see. If you're wondering what all these buckets are, I took all the buckets that I had, it was about 14 or so along the side of the house that's full of water, and I put them inside the greenhouse to try to keep the greenhouse warmer when it's really, really cold. All the water you see there, as well as all the way back over there, that whole sand is full of bottled water. I filled all of that up with rain, rain the goal water. The is to try to allow the greenhouse to heat up as it does when the sun is out and then disperse heat in the evening as it cools down because this greenhouse does not regulate hot or cold that's a pro and a con so i put the shade cloth up to keep it from getting too hot but it still gets very hot it can get in excess of over 110 degrees in here so yeah it's hot and when it's cold i started it's putting cold. bubble wrap up and then it started falling down <laughs> I was trying to keep the heat that was rising, of course, uh, to be able to push it down and to keep it inside the greenhouse, but I had to run and take care of an errand. And when I got back, all the bubble wrap that I had covering the entire roof had fallen. As you can see right here, I used tape, it didn't work. So I just left the bubble wrap on top of the tables. I just pulled back yeah. frost blanket because I wanted you all to see what it looks like. And I hope I'm not going too fast. But this is what my greenhouse actually looks like. I've got all types of plants uh, that have survived the Arctic blast. And then I have some that I think really needed to stay on the vine because they are totally grossing me out right now. They are molding. So I think I need to throw those away. I'm gonna have to Google it, but I think I'm gonna have to throw them all away because the ones, the gourds that dried on the vine, they look as they did when they were on the vine but these that had not dried yeah this is what they look like and i'm not happy about that over here i have a canna it's not dead but it, it did get hit by the cold as i said as it gets cold in here the plants will suffer but you can see it's live i have a baby right here and a baby right here this was the the young plant it's still very much hard just the top has died so i'm leaving it alone over here, I have the um, elephant ears. Tops have died, but the bulb, the bulbs are fine. And you all saw, not over there, but over here, you all saw all of the aloe vera. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons. I talked about the fact that if it's hot, it's hot, and if it's cold, it's cold. But let's talk about the build. The build was a true pain in the tuchus. I didn't enjoy the build at all because it was hot outside. It was the wrong time to build it. I think even if it wasn't hot, I wouldn't have enjoyed the build because it was just a lot of little bitty pieces. The frame is an aluminum frame, but it is 
I'm not going to use the word flimsy because it's up. It's up. The, it, it's definitely up. But as you're building it, it feels extremely flimsy. And once you have it up, I'm not even going to say that. It's a little stronger, but it's not, it's not going to withhold a tornado. Let's just say that. And with the Texas winds that we've had, I've had some issues. And let me show if you all can see or not. But this panel at the very top blew out from the top because of the high winds. I took some Gorilla Glue because y'all know I like Gorilla Glue. And I Gorilla Glued all the panels along the top, the sides, as well as the bottom down there. Now, I also have water in every possible corner, and I've got some concrete, again, trying to keep the greenhouse as warm as possible. Con, if there is a high wind, this greenhouse does come with little clips. Uh, let's see if I can show These you the are the little clips I was telling you guys about. It comes with a whole bunch With of those bones. either aren't strong enough. It just it doesn't work. They will not keep the panels in if you have an extremely high wind, which is why I have that shade cloth on the greenhouse. I decided not to take it off because I figured that if a wind came, it would pop these panels out. And I was right. Two of the bottom panels here on the right hand side the first and the last popped out only at the top i didn't lose them but if i didn't have this covered i probably would have lost many more panels in this greenhouse as a matter of fact i lost i didn't lose but you i see did. that in the corner all the way over there the glue had started to run that one also popped out so i had actually three that popped at the top excuse my neighbor's dog very talkative today so you need to secure this. So let me double back to the beginning. I watched plenty of videos of people who purchased the Harbor Freight greenhouse. And one young man was shocked that you have to build a base for this. You do have to build a base. If you don't build a base for this, you can kiss Christmas goodbye because you are not going to keep this greenhouse in your yard. It needs to be secured down to something. I did say the frame is not as sturdy as some kind of galvanized steel or something like that, really heavy, or wood. It's not that sturdy. It's, it's very lightweight. It can bend. It can, it can tear up. You can get a hole in it if you're not careful. Um, so yeah, there's some things about it that could possibly turn a person away. But don't go yet. I still have some things to talk so to you about. There is the base, as I mentioned. I painted this greenhouse. This greenhouse, let me show y'all. It's a silver color. And of course, the paint is coming off in some places. Um, not everywhere, but there are a couple of places that the paint has decided it wanted to rub off, but mm, that's okay. So um, I painted the base, and you have to screw down. See that? You have to screw down your base plate. And what we did, we screwed it down in on more than just uh, a couple of places on the on the base plate, and it it doesn't come with pre-drilled holes to drill it and attach it at the base plate. So you're going to have to make some additional holes outside of the greenhouse frame being flimsy, not as sturdy as I would like. I can say that. For what I use this greenhouse for, I have been very pleased with this greenhouse. So if this is something that you want to invest in, I would say invest in it. But number one, you've got to put it together unless you get someone to put it together for you. Number two, the frame is flimsy. If you start putting this together, you need to finish putting the frame together at least and bolt the frame down before you walk away from your project. Because it's very possible if you have a heavy wind that your frame is going to be all bent up to, to no avail and your investment will be lost. Um, I like the polycarbonate panels. Let's swing around. I like the polycarbonate panels. They're lightweight. Um, they're easy, relatively easy to put in. You have to give it a little bit of a, a bow, a slight bow to get them in, but um, they're easy to cut. If I need to replace one, I'm sure I can go to one of the um, 
big box stores to do it. So I, I, I like the polycarbonate. Let's see what else is there. Um, don't lose any screws. The one thing I definitely did not like about this, definitely did not like, is you have to put the screws in and do not ratchet anything down. You are taking these screws out and putting them back. Actually, they're nuts and bolts. You're taking the nuts and bolts off and, and putting these joints. There, there are lots of little joints that join together, and you have to make sure that all of them are in place before you ratchet anything down. As you can see here, this window is a multi piece put together situation. Um, the frame, you have to put the frame together. You have to uh, take the window and put the window, slide it into the roof line up here. And again, it's, it's kind of flimsy. What I can say is that it does not, uh, the windows, if it's a high wind, it doesn't stay closed. You have to make sure you come in and keep it closed. I did put some weather strips, either too hot or too cold, and it doesn't want to stay. So I'm going to have to refix this with some Gorilla Glue. Same with the door. Let me the show you. The door has a little piece of weather stripping on it, but it has a small little gap when you close it about that. Sorry about my nails, y'all. I got to do my nails over. There's a small little gap when you when you close the door. So you need to have weather stripping on the door as well. An additional piece. Um, it fell on the ground. I don't know if y'all can see it down there. Sorry about me moving around so fast. I know this is probably a terrible The video. weather stripping fell. It came off. It fell on the ground. I have to pick it up and gorilla glue it back on. Overall, the greenhouse is doing what I need for it to do. As you can see, the wind has been blowing. So this window has come open. Again, the um, weather stripping is not on there, right? So you have to keep coming out and double checking the window. And that could be something that I did wrong. I don't know. But I did notice we had some three days of rain, torrential thunderstorms, and the wind was so high, none of the panels came out again this time. But what did happen, let you me show you that bolt and nut right there it flew out of that little hole the bolt was on the floor and the screw had fallen down in the channel it didn't fall out because it can't fall out but i had to look around and find the bolt and put that back together so all that being said i like the greenhouse for what i use the greenhouse for i am overwintering i am starting plants uh, I'm, I'm holding over plants. I'm trying to start uh, cut flowers, uh, root things, all the things, all the things. I'm trying to do that in here. Um, I've got peppers. I don't know if you all this saw. This is what I've been keeping in here for the winter. Now, my peppers, those peppers look real shady boots, but they are alive. As you can see, the uh, stems are all green. They are alive. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks, I've got four of them in here and they all look to be alive. I need to harvest all those peppers though. Like I said, when I started this video, I just came in here. I just pulled back the frost blanket. This is my new um, clementine. It's been sitting in here the entire time. The Arctic frost and all the rain has not hurt that clementine. So it's doing well. The amaryllises, as you can see, they look a little worse for the wear because they got a tiny bit of cold before I rushed and put them in here, but they look so just overall, fine. Pros and cons. Don't like putting the thing, this thing together. Um, there was a lot of moving parts, little bitty nuts and bolts that you have to put inside of channels, as you can see back there. You have to lightly uh, put them, put the screws in. You cannot ratchet them down because you have to put multiple pieces in that one little panel, there's multiple panels. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't like putting it together at all. It, it could be that if you like that kind of thing, then that's not going to be a problem for you. There was no problem putting this on a base. There was no problem putting the base together. There was very little problem uh, putting the panels in. Like I said, sometimes you need to bow a few of them to get them in. It took several days because it was very hot to put it together. Um, you do need to, to um, I I'm sorry, I'm saying um, y'all. I'm trying to think of all the things that I encountered. You do need to do some modifications 
and there are plenty of people online who do different types of bonifications. I like Gorilla Glue. It works for me. So that's what I use. The, um, oh, there's a worm up there. How in the world did that happen? A, a worm, y'all don't need to hear that, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you. I looked up and a worm must have somehow crawled up the panel and got up there on the roof. Huh. Yeah, it's it's a goner. Okay, that's new for me. I, I hadn't seen anything like that before. And I'm not going to show y'all because I know somebody will be like, ew. So, yeah. It's not a snake, it's just a little worm. I have worms in my garden, y'all. Y'all know that I uh, I have a worm bin and I put worm castings in all of my pots as I look over at my pot because I put some worms in that pot today. And so because I put worm castings in my containers, sometimes there's worms, sometimes there's worm eggs. And so I do have worms that have gotten out of the pots. And when I move pots, they're up under the pots. So I've been picking up as many of, of them as I can and putting them in pots or in my worm bin but back to the greenhouse um besides doing the mod and i have to sorry have, i'm sorry y'all i have to apologize i'm holding my my camera with my hand so this might be a little wonky today i do apologize i'm i'm doing this late in the evening because the sun was out and i didn't want to be in here with the sun being up today sun just went down so i'm trying to hurry up and get y'all a video so i do apologize um besides it being really hot in here when it's hot and really cold in here when it's cold besides the frame being flimsy as you're putting it up what i can say is that it is up and it is not as flimsy as it seems to be as you're building it the whole time i was thinking this thing is going to just blow away toto is going to come and take this greenhouse to oz with him um but it hasn't it hasn't blown away those three panels that blew at the top i was able to glue those in they have not come back out the worm being up there that's the first time i have seen anything like that but it's been raining a lot for the past three and a half days so i can only imagine they sick of the rain too the um the plants seem to not mind it so much in here my makeshift tables work I apologize if i'm looking in the wrong direction my makeshift tables are working uh, i haven't had any issues with these tables they are holding what i need for for them to hold i do have some pots here that i'm going to be taking out of here real soon as soon as my shed is completed um my shed guy's not feeling well so as soon as the shed guy's back on his feet and the shed is is up and done um then the extra stuff the pots won't be in here this will just be a space that i will have plants and stuff that i'm holding over and stuff that i've gotten that i'm rehabbing or that needs to sit in here for the winter um so yeah i i like and i'm sorry i'm all over the place y'all i like the fact that i do have a semi-permanent greenhouse i believe i will have a greenhouse uh as long as i am gardening and i'm able to garden this will not last forever but the modifications like i said with the gorilla glue putting the um shade cloth over top has kept it in place i don't worry about it when the, the wind is blowing i don't worry about it when it's raining i did notice the floor was you. wet um i don't know if it's because the water seeped up from the ground or if somehow the rain got in i i didn't see, see any, any leaks from the ceiling or the panels so i'm thinking that maybe because it was so much water and there were puddles in my yard that perhaps the water seeped up through the ground because this is just the ground i've got wood chip on, on the base of this and i've got that big piece of wood and that's it i've got cardboard wood chip and this big piece of wood that that literally is the floor in this greenhouse i didn't want to put in a permanent floor i wanted to be able to get stuff on it as you all saw there there's stuff on it wood chips and things that i brought in off my boots and so i didn't want to worry about having to sweep up and mess up a, a pretty floor 
Uh, I do kind of keep it swept up, but I'm not concerned about that. It's a greenhouse. It's going to have dirt and muck on it, just like my boots. Not really concerned about that either. But uh, I am I'm liking it, and I hope that you all get something out of this rambly mess of a video. Like I said, the sun is going down. It's getting cooler. I need to close everything up and get back in the house. But I'll show you the outside. The shade cloth is covered, covering the entire greenhouse. Um, it is tacked in to the ground down there. And so it is um, holding everything in place if anything was going to move about. This is the back side of it. I hope you guys can see. Let's see. I'm walking over here. This is the back side. Um, not much to see here, but there hasn't been any issues with the back side of this. I take a look at it every day to make sure nothing is a green temporary greenhouse. It's not going to live here forever. Once it begins to deteriorate once more, like the other one I had, because this is my second one, I'm going to no longer have this greenhouse. And this will be a space right here that I'm going to plant a moringa tree. Um, but again, this is the back side. I hope you guys can see. That's the back side of it. Sorry if it's pretty um, blurry, but this is the greenhouse. I'm over in my compost area. And same on this side, you might be able to see this a little bit better, but it is tacked down to the ground with um, landscaping pens. So I have not had any issues with it coming loose. You all probably can't see, but I haven't had any issues with this coming loose. And so it's working. Um, I put this up as soon as I got it and no problems that I found. It looks like, no, that's just how it's sitting up there. I'm like, what's that? That's when the, the window opens, that's how it pops it out like that, the little bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this is the greenhouse, everybody. Let's move around this way. Sorry you all can't see too well. I'm moving around my water barrels. All my water barrels are now all completely full of water, as well as my um, 45, 50 gallon trash can. So this is the greenhouse. Uh, oh, and the door. Let's talk about the door real quick. Besides it being a pain in the butt to put up, um, it doesn't move very well. I've had to put some lubricant on the bottom to try to get it to slide. It doesn't slide smoothly. Oh, and I almost forgot. The one thing I did to the panels, I put some Gorilla Tape on the panels to try to prevent condensation, but apparently I didn't think that through because the, it can get through the top here on that piece of uh, tape. So I did put um, Gorilla Tape on each and every panel along all the sides, all the corners, every, all, every bit of it. I put Gorilla Clear, Crystal Clear Gorilla Tape. And I did that to try to, to give it a little bit more ability to stay inside the channel as because it's, it's, it's kind of tight, as well as to try to keep the condensation out. This is my first time seeing the condensation, uh, but like I said, it's been raining for three and a half days, so that's to be expected. And maybe, maybe, the water came from the door because the door was closed. I don't know, but I do know when I opened it up, the floor uh, looked wet. Sorry, I, I dropped my eye drops, y'all. Excuse that on the floor. I'm gonna get that in a minute. But yes, I um, I like the greenhouse. I hope you guys, if you are interested in a Harbor Freight greenhouse, that you get one for yourself. It works for what I need it for. I hope that was useful. I do apologize. I've been kind of rambly for the past couple of days. I guess that's just how my mind is feeling. I don't know. But thank you very much for joining me in my greenhouse. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, be kind. Um, leave your comments. I do my best to respond to each and every person who sends me a comment. Uh, share the video if you think that it's worth sharing. I, again, I apologize for being rambly, but that's how my mind has been working. It just, it just feels like it's a mad dash. It's been warm here, and warmer than than. Well, I won't say it's been excessively warm, but it's been unseasonably warm. It was really cold, and then it was raining, 
and now the temperatures are beginning to warm up. So I'm out in the garden, opening everything up, cutting back all the death that I see, looking to see what's still alive. And so I'm rushing and I think that's causing my brain to rush too. So I do apologize if I sound rambly or rushed, just trying to get some things done so that when I'm ready to plant, I can plant and I'm not having to do the cleanup. But again, if you like the video, like the video, share the video, leave me a comment, and I hope to see you either in my kitchen, my garden, or my indoor garden grow space real soon. Bye for now. I almost forgot this piece. I bought handles, one for the inside and one for the outside. Those do not come with the greenhouse. And the reason why I bought the handles, and of course my screws were too long, but disregard that. Um, I bought the handles to be able to move the door a little better. Like I mentioned, the door does stick. But this is the greenhouse, y'all. All closed up because it's getting chilly. Bye for now. <music>